So this has literally been my breakfast every single day for like months now. So it is like wheat free, like gluten free oats. Gluten is like the only thing now that I try not to have within my diet, but everything else I try not to limit. So I'm just having some oats and some coffee. So on these oats, I just have my woman's best protein powder, blueberries, cinnamon, a bit of almond milk, and some almond and cashew butter. So I'm gonna just enjoy this, have my coffee, and do some work at my nice and clean tidy desk. That is a little hack of mine. If you are struggling to either do like work or anything like that, or you're struggling to motivate yourself to sit down and study or journal or whatever, make sure your environment is clean. Because look how inviting this looks. If it was messy, I promise you I would not get any work done. On my Instagram the other day, I actually posted a story of this little aircon that I have next to my desk. And I got so many responses and like questions about what it is and where it's from. This is called the Avapola Portable Aircon. So it's so good because I leave it under my desk. Because obviously in Australia, summer gets so hot and I prefer to use my little portable aircon because I can like take it around my house so I can put it in my office, I can sleep with it and everything like that. And the reason why I use it is because it's so much more eco-friendly and affordable than like my aircon in my house. The reason why is more eco-friendly is because it only uses like 10 watts of electricity and also with the evaporative pads that you do need to actually change they're fully biodegradable so it literally just works by cooling and humidifying the air so it's like level 100 health you're literally making your air as healthy as possible so basically it is just under my desk like this it's so minimal which is what I love it's white and gray and it just works with under my desk like this so just basically you fill the tank Ooh, hello and now what I'm doing is I'm just setting the little temperature to as cool as you want it. Literally so simple and then boom, that is my aircon whilst I work. Yeah, Everpolar has literally even won like awards for green product of the year and I personally just love supporting businesses who make an effort with the environment. I've actually teamed up with Everpolar to give you guys 10% off this month only when you use the code C10. So I will leave all the links and everything in the description below. So yes, I 100% recommend this evaporative cooler. Not only is it good when you do work from home like myself, but it's just good to replace your normal aircon because like I said, it is more environmentally friendly and cost effective. I am so tired today. Honestly, the past few days I have been like so run down and it's so sick. But right now, like I have so much work that needs to be done. So I literally cannot afford a day off. Like yesterday I took the entire day off work, but like I'm still just feeling like I need like literally like two weeks off. But once I get over this like hurdle of like all these work that is required at the moment, I will be able to rest. But until then, I'm just resting when I can and then really prioritizing my diet. So I'm making sure that it is spick and spam. I'm having heaps of lemon teas. I'm eating enough so I can get enough energy. Right now, like with my diet and my gut, it's honestly the best it's ever been. Like I'm so glad that I, you know, I've been through what I've been through, so then I have an awareness with how bad the gut can be, but I also am so aware that you can actually fix your gut. I thought I am going to show you guys a bit of like what I eat in a day. Like it's kind of like an updated version now that my gut is completely fine and I'm trying to build lean muscle. So I'm showing you guys what I incorporate within my day, what I do, supplements, etc. Basically live a healthy, balanced life. So today I do have a lot on. I actually have my videographer slash photographer coming down. We've got a few videos that we do need to shoot and I'm so excited because I love him so much and he's trying to eat healthier and everything. So I'm helping him with that and I've just spent a few like hours pff, I've spent like 10 minutes taking like um photos because I am wanting to do a new recipe book such ebook such cookbook I don't really know I kind of do this thing where I just start and then I figure out everything later on so I have like heaps of recipes in like the bank ready to kind of like put together and everything like that and I've taken heaps of photos so yeah that's just really what works for me I just kind of like make action and think later it's something that has always always worked for me um so yeah I'm going to show you guys what I eat in a day and everything amongst a work day so this is kind of like the meals that I have when I am you know busy up on the go like you guys know I am right into like meal prepping kind of thing because I, when I'm working, when I'm busy, I don't want to spend too much time in the kitchen because I spend a lot of time in here cooking and working. So when it's for myself, I don't really want to. I want to kind of just like eat and chill. Um, it's currently almost 10 o'clock. I think I'm going to make a 
morning snack. So I eat quite regularly, like every two, three hours. I just eat whenever I'm hungry and I am actually hungry quite regularly. So I had my oats and then I'll either like usually in the mornings have like a like a protein bar. So I'll have just a blue dinosaur protein bar or like boiled eggs or fruit or something like that. Um, I'll probably just have like two boiled eggs because I'm feeling kind of like dehydrated and like boiled eggs are kind of like refreshing. So I have had a lot of water. I don't really know why I feel dehydrated. I think I'm like a little bit exhausted. Honestly, I was like watching my old videos guys and I was like, you know, watching um, my, my diet and how much I was suffering with my gut and I was like, honey girl, like I just... I just felt so sorry for that me because right now I'm absolutely thriving. I feel so strong. I feel so happy. Like, you know, like it's it's something that I just don't have to focus on anymore. And it's, yeah, like I'm just like literally overwhelmed with how good I do feel. But I must sit here peel my eggs. Oh, hi. But if you do want more information on the diet that I ate in order to like reset and recharge my gut, I do actually have my 28 day gut reset challenge ebook. So if you are new here and you don't know much about that, basically I went through a period where I was suffering like for four years really, really badly with my gut and I was on a plant-based diet and I find it didn't really work for my gut. So I was in the transition of like adding fish, eggs and everything back into my diet in order to heal my gut. And within this 28 day gut reset challenge, I actually worked with a registered dietitian and nutritionist to put together like kind of like a diet plan that I followed um, to completely like reset, recharge my gut. And you want to reset and restore your gut so you can kind of like then incorporate foods that you're once intolerant to because at the end of the day, you don't want to be intolerant to anything. You don't want to have to restrict or reduce anything. And now I'm at that point where I don't have to restrict or reduce anything. Like I have dairy, I have meat, I have everything and it works perfectly fine with my gut. And at the end of the day, that's what you that's what you want. So basically that is what my Cleanse, Restore, Heal 28 Day Gut Reset Challenge is all about. So yeah, I will leave all the link and everything in the description below. But I'm just going to have my two boiled eggs for like my snack. And I'm just going to have some lemon juice, salt and pepper. The house is an absolute write off at the moment. When I do like food photography, <sighs> that shit's exhausting. Honestly, so much prep and uh, uh, life. What's up? Okay, so I'm currently just at the gym because we're actually going to feel like a little ab workout. I've been training abs like almost every single day um not every single day probably like four times a week um and i'm so glad that i did start because i generally like i've got like the body where it's really hard to grow my abs and everyone always said that like oh you can grow your abs like within your weight session if you lift heavy rah rah and abs are made in the kitchen rah 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 which is yes that is true but there are so many different body types and for me i'm naturally very slim and it's hard for me to gain muscle especially around my abdominals so i have been the lowest of low body fat and i didn't really have abs so currently my abs are the most defined that they have ever been and i am a higher percent body fat I am higher in weight, but I just have more muscle mass and I'm eating so much more. So if you are wanting to have more defined abs, don't do hours of cardio and eat less. Because in order for your abs to pop out and show you do need to be eating enough protein in order for them to be defined. Because just say if you're not if you're exercising a lot and you're not eating enough like protein and carbohydrates, or you're just not eating enough in general to refuel your body and build up that muscle, then your muscle actually starts to eat itself. So you know how you see people and they've got like heaps of like flabby skin and stuff like that? That is because they're not eating enough in order to fuel their muscles. So I've been there, I've done that where you exercise a lot and you don't eat a lot and not only do you feel crap, your hormones are out of balance, you're more stressed and it's actually pushing you further and further away from your goals. So for me now, I eat a lot and I train weights. I don't do much cardio whatsoever. And like I said, this is the most like defined my abs have ever been. Obviously, you know, like they're not hugely defined and I'm a bit bloated at the moment, but it's just about like trial and error and not believing everything that you read or you see. Cause like I said, everyone's like, you know, abs are made in the kitchen and you don't need to train abs, but for me and my body type, I actually do need to train abs. So if you find that you are struggling to also grow your abs and you do have my body type, so my body type, like I said, there's endomorph, ectomorph, and mesomorph. 
and it's really about becoming aware of your body type and if you have a specific goal like becoming aware of your body type and what to do in order to achieve that so for me it's generally really really hard to put on size whatsoever and we're naturally quite slim but sometimes our bellies can hold the most amount of body fat so what I have done in order to kind of like switch that over and try to like gain more muscle in my legs and upper body is weights weights has really really helped me and eating enough so you can actually look up your body type on like Google or Safari but again like this is just like a rough guideline. At the end of the day, it really just comes down to training with what makes you feel good, eating with what makes you feel good, and just basically being happy and not being too stressed and strict on yourself. And at the end of the day, like exercise and like um, food is only like a small part of like your life. Yes, it has a huge part when it comes to your mental clarity and your happiness. That is why I prioritize it because I've realized like what it's like, what it feels like when you're eating a diet and doing exercise that doesn't really work for you and your body and your like your mental state really and I have been able to see the transparent and I'm loving my life now so that is why I do prioritize exercise and food but I also realize that like there's more to life so yeah if you do have a specific goal become aware of like your body type and everything like that but like I said at the end of the day it's all about happiness and doing just what makes you happy and not being too strict on yourself and realizing that like looking a certain way isn't the key to happiness. Anyway, Toby's gonna to be here soon. We're gonna film like a little ab little circuit. Um, so then I can pop it on my Instagram. I'm trying to upload more like frequent workouts on my Instagram at the moment. But I honestly, like I don't know what platform you guys would prefer me to like post my workouts and everything from on. Wow. Um, would you rather on IGTV, YouTube, or just Instagram with like the carousel, which is what I have been doing. Because I honestly love filming my workouts and I know that you guys love watching them. I just like to know what platforms you like to watch them, how you like to watch them, like do you like a specific video with it? Yeah, just honestly, any of your guys' tips or anything to do with like being specific with what type of content you guys want me to create, please let me know within this video in the comments below because it honestly helps so much. Clarity is key, like that's something like I need in my life is like clarity, like give me clarity, you know what I mean? Anyway, look how beautiful this gym is. Hi, hello. I'm literally like working out with the beach right there. So beautiful, I'm so blessed. Oh, hurry up Toby, you're late. <laughs> Toby and I, we have just finished our workout. Now we're at one of my local like favorite cafes near my house. And I actually have like so much meal prep. So we've come and got a juice. So um, Toby's just grabbed a green juice and he's grabbing an acai bowl. And then I've actually brought my one of my meal preps. So yeah, it's literally just like brown rice pasta with beef meatballs and like a tomato sauce. I will actually um, upload this like completely like recipe and meal prep on my Instagram. I do, I'm trying to upload like frequent meal prep photos on my Instagram. And then I do actually my highlights. I have like all my meal prep that I do. And I constantly get asked where I get these like little containers from. So I have these ones and then I have my wood ones, which I love my wood ones. I'll pop a photo here. It's really good because it has like, like a separation little like categories in it, I guess. And I get asked so often where I get these from and we're actually planning to bring them on my website really, really soon. So make sure you are subscribed to my mailing list because I will let you guys know when the pre-order and everything is available. I'm so excited to get these up and running on my website. There's been a few things like in the back end and like, like there's just so much stuff to like focus on when you're bringing something like brand new to your website. So it has taken a little bit of effort, but I'm so excited to bring these on board because literally I use these all the time and we're gonna try and get as cheap as possible so like it's affordable because this stuff is like really expensive you know they're just lunch boxes so we're trying to find a way that it is affordable so more people can use it because hashtag eco-friendly love it but yeah i'm gonna enjoy this and probably get um another coffee i've been trying to limit like to two coffees a day because i find that um if i have too many coffees it really affects my like ibs and like it's really acidic so i've been limiting two and two is fine what have you ordered, Toby? What have I ordered? Uh-huh. Uh, green juice. I don't know what it has in it, but it's got kale, green vegetables, something I need. All the green stuff. I bet you just looked at it and you're like, that looks healthy. I'm going to get that. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, uh, that's, well, honestly, it was more like a boost because I feel like greens after since like starting to work out and that. Yeah. I've just been a lot really flat and um, mm. Mm. I feel like this is the pick-me-up that I need. I just need that. 
hundred percent if you are like if you're someone who you are lacking a lot of energy instead of going for a coffee or caffeine you're so much better off getting like a juice something that is like naturally high in sugar and is going to give you long lasting energy a lot of people think that caffeine is going to help them but caffeine all that does right is block your senses of feeling tired so it generally doesn't give you energy so juices and like um, carbohydrates and like fruit that will give you energy it will spike your insulin levels and will give you like energy throughout the day but caffeine it just blocks your senses of feeling tired I how think, weird is that yeah i think two coffees a day is like yeah because i'm a caffeine freak and i've Same. noticed that having way too much caffeine especially because i do long hours with christy and that yeah um, it's starting to really affect me, honestly. Yeah, it affects you in the long run and you end up having like less energy. So think, think, think She's about the future. She's kicking my butt, man. She's kicking my butt. I'm so proud of Toby. He's literally yeah. been eating so healthy. He's quitting, he's quitting, he's quitting, he's quit smoking. Quit the smokes. Quit Everyone the smokes. that's like. So he's kind of like, person to hang around. he's going through this <laughs> detox, like this detox phase. And he's been a bit forgetful and deleted footage that I needed. And uh, sleep apnea, and yeah, Chrissy yelling at me, where, where are you? what are you doing? I'm like, I don't know. I was like, so you meant to be here two hours ago, yeah. and it was in his car and his laptop, and I was like, okay, that's fine, that's cool. So it is currently now six o'clock and I'm about to start making some dinner. So I've been loving like chicken thigh lately. It is so much like yummier than chicken breast. So I've been doing that in my beloved air fryer. I literally love this thing. And then I'm just gonna pop some sweet potato in here and then just some veggies. And then I'm going to use like certain like herbs, spices and like coconut aminos to do it all up. 